Today's topic is A Passage to India by Edward Morgan Forster. Let's start. Who is the author of the novel A Passage to India? Edward Morgan Forster is the author of the novel A Passage to India. What other notable works did Edward Morgan Forster write? Edward Morgan Forster wrote several other notable works, including A Room with a View, Howard's End, Where Angels Fear to Tread, The Longest Journey. When was Edward Morgan Forster born? Edward Morgan Forster was born on 1st January 1879. Which literary period does Forster belong to? Edward Morgan Forster belongs to the literary period known as the Modernist period. He was part of the early 20th century literary movement that sought to break away from traditional narrative forms and explore new ways of representing reality. What are some recurring themes in Forster's works? Some recurring themes in Forster's works include Exploration of human connection and relationships Examination of social class and its impact on individuals Critique of British imperialism and colonialism Cultural and racial tensions Conflict between personal desires and societal expectations Exploration of the inner lives and emotions of characters. Themes of freedom, self-discovery, and self-expression. Critique of societal conventions and restrictions. What is the central theme of a passage to India? The central theme of a passage to India is the exploration of the cultural and racial tensions between the British colonizers and the native Indians, as well as the complexities of human relationships in the context of colonial India. How does the novel explore the theme of colonialism? The novel explores the theme of colonialism by depicting the power dynamics, prejudices, and conflicts between the British colonizers and the Indian population. It examines the ways in which colonialism affects both the colonizers and the colonized and raises questions about the inherent injustice and inequality of the colonial system. What role does cultural misunderstanding play in the story? Cultural misunderstanding plays a significant role in the story as it leads to misinterpretations, conflict, and ultimately the breakdown of relationships between the British and Indians. The inability to fully understand and appreciate each other's cultural norms, customs, and perspectives leads to a sense of alienation and frustration among the characters. How is the theme of friendship portrayed in the novel? The theme of friendship is portrayed as a bridge that has the potential to transcend cultural and racial barriers. The characters of Dr. Aziz, an Indian Muslim, and Cyril Fielding, a British schoolmaster, form a deep bond of friendship that challenges the prevailing prejudices of the time. Their friendship represents a genuine connection based on mutual respect and understanding. What does the novel suggest about the limitations of human connection? The novel suggests that despite the genuine efforts to connect and understand one another, there are inherent limitations to human connection, particularly in the context of a colonial society. The barriers of race, culture, and societal expectations make it difficult for individuals to truly bridge the divide and form lasting connections. The Marbar Caves incident symbolize the ultimate breakdown of human connection and the inherent mystery and inscrutability of others. It highlights the limitations of understanding and the impossibility of fully knowing another person. What events in the novel contribute to the radicalization of the native Indians? Several events contribute to the radicalization of the native Indians in the novel. These include The humiliation and mistreatment faced by Dr. Aziz during his encounter with Mrs. Calendar and Miss Quested in the Marbar Caves. 
The false accusation and subsequent trial of Dr. Aziz for assaulting Ms. Quested. The realization of the oppressive and discriminatory nature of British colonial rule. The general atmosphere of racial prejudice and cultural superiority exhibited by many British characters. How does the character of Dr. Aziz experience a transformation in his beliefs? Dr. Aziz undergoes a transformation in his beliefs throughout the novel. Initially, he holds a somewhat idealized view of British culture and desires friendship and acceptance from the British. However, his experiences of discrimination, false accusation, and betrayal lead him to become disillusioned with the British and more radicalized in his stance against colonialism. He starts to question the legitimacy of British rule and becomes an advocate for Indian independence. What role does the Marbar Caves incident play in the radicalization of characters? The Marbar Caves incident plays a pivotal role in the radicalization of characters. The airy and disorienting experience in the caves deeply affects both Dr. Aziz and Miss Quested, albeit in different ways. The incident creates a sense of existential dread, confusion, and a loss of self for Miss Quested. It reinforces her preconceived notions of the mystery and grotesque nature of India. For Dr. Aziz, the incident triggers a profound resentment towards the British and fuels his growing radicalization against the oppressive colonial system. How do the British colonial policies contribute to the radicalization of Indians? The British colonial policies contribute to the radicalization of Indians by perpetuating a system of inequality and exploitation. The policies maintain a stark divide between the British and Indians, reinforcing the racial and cultural superiority of the colonizers. Indians are subjected to discrimination, limited opportunities, and a lack of representation in matters of governance. These injustices fuel feelings of resentment, frustration, and a desire for independence among the Indian population, leading to increased radicalization. How does Foster depict the conflict between the Indians and the British in the novel? Foster depicts the conflict between the Indians and the British in a nuanced and multidimensional manner. He portrays the cultural and racial clashes, as well as the misunderstandings and prejudices that exist on both sides. The British characters are often depicted as ignorant, condescending, and dismissive of Indian culture. The Indian characters, on the other hand, are shown to grapple with the desire for freedom, dignity, and self-assertion in the face of colonial dominance. Foster highlights the complexity of the conflict and the difficulties of finding common ground in a deeply divided society. Who are the main characters in A Passage to India? The main characters in A Passage to India include Dr. Aziz Adela Quested Mrs. More Roni Heeslaw Cyril Fielding What is the significance of Adela Quested in the story? Adela Quested is significant as she serves as a catalyst for the events in the novel. Her journey to India and her experience in the Marbar Caves lead to a pivotal trial and bring the underlying tensions between the British and Indians to the forefront. Adela's accusations and subsequent withdrawal shape the narrative and explore themes of cultural misunderstanding, prejudice, and the limitations of perception. How does the character of Mrs. Moray contribute to the narrative? Mrs. Moray, as an elderly British woman, represents a more open-minded and empathetic perspective towards India and its people. Her genuine curiosity and desire to connect with Indians, especially Dr. Aziz, challenge the prevailing prejudices and stereotypes. 
Her spiritual quest and eventual disillusionment also highlight the complexities of cultural encounters and the limitations of understanding. What role does Dr. Aziz play in the novel and how does he evolve? Dr. Aziz is a central character and serves as the bridge between the British and Indian communities. Initially, he is eager to befriend the British and seeks their approval. However, his experiences of mistreatment, false accusation, and the Marbar Caves incident transform him into a more radical and independent thinker. He becomes a symbol of resistance against colonial oppression and advocates for Indian independence. How do the British characters, such as Roni Heeslop and Fielding, influence the story? Roni Heeslop Adela's fiancé represents the typical colonial mindset and embodies the superiority complex of the British ruling class. His rigid adherence to British societal norms and dismissal of Indian culture contribute to the growing divide between the British and Indians. In contrast, Cyril Fielding, an English schoolmaster, seeks genuine friendship and understanding with the Indians. Fielding serves as a bridge between the two cultures and challenges the prevailing prejudices. Who is the narrator of the novel? The novel is narrated by an omniscient third-person narrator who provides insights into the thoughts, perspectives and experiences of the characters. What is the significance of the character Professor Godbole? Professor Godbole represents a spiritual and philosophical perspective in the novel. His mystical worldview and religious beliefs bring an alternative lens to the conflicts between the British and Indians. His character showcases the spiritual dimensions of India and the interconnectedness of all things. Hi, my name is Liza. From here I will read the rest of your questions and answers. Please listen carefully while I am reading. How does the character of Mahmood Ali contribute to the narrative? Mahmood Ali, a Muslim lawyer and friend of Dr. Aziz, represents a more politically active and outspoken voice against British colonialism. His character highlights the diversity of perspectives among the Indian community and the various approaches to resistance against British rule. What role does religion play in shaping the character's actions and beliefs? Religion plays a significant role in the novel, shaping the character's actions, beliefs, and interactions. It serves as a source of unity and division, providing solace for some characters while deepening the divides between different religious communities. Religious tensions and the clash of beliefs contribute to the overall exploration of cultural conflicts and the limitations of understanding. How do the relationships between the characters reflect the larger themes of the novel? The relationships between the characters reflect the larger themes of cultural misunderstanding, colonial power dynamics, and the complexities of human connection. The interactions between the British and Indians highlight the challenges of bridging cultural gaps and the influence of prejudice on relationships. The evolving dynamics between the characters reflect the larger themes of identity, power, and the influence of prejudice on relationships. The evolving dynamics between the characters reflect the larger themes of identity, power, and the search for genuine human connection in a colonial society. The relationships also illustrate the limitations and complexities of bridging cultural divides and the difficulties of overcoming preconceived notions and societal expectations. What is the impact of the trial on the characters' lives? The trial has a profound impact on the characters' lives. It intensifies the tensions between the British and Indians, further polarizing the communities. The trial exposes the injustices of the colonial system and highlights the power imbalances between the colonizers and the colonized. 
It also deepens the personal and emotional turmoil experienced by characters like Dr. Aziz and Adela Question. How do the characters' personal experiences shape their perception of India? The characters' personal experiences shape their perception of India in various ways. For some, like Adela Question and Mrs. Moore, their encounters challenge their preconceived notions and reveal the richness and complexity of Indian culture. Others, such as Rani Hislop, cling to their biases and stereotypes, reinforcing their negative perception of India. The characters' personal experiences serve as a lens through which they interpret and understand the country and its people. How does Forster depict the complexities of identity in the novel? Forster depicts the complexities of identity by exploring the intersections of race, culture, nationality, and social class. The characters grapple with their own identities and struggle to define themselves within the colonial context. The British characters often cling to a sense of superiority based on their British identity, while the Indian characters navigate their cultural heritage and their aspirations for independence. Forster portrays the fluidity and challenges of identity formation in a multicultural and colonial setting. What are the moral dilemmas faced by the characters in A Passage to India? The characters in A Passage to India face several moral dilemmas. These include questions of truth and justice, the tension between personal desires and societal expectations, the struggle for self-assertion within oppressive systems, and the moral responsibility of the colonizers towards the colonized. The characters are confronted with choices that test their values, integrity, and understanding of right and wrong. How does the character development contribute to the overall message of the novel? The character development in the novel contributes to the overall message by showcasing the transformative power of personal experiences and the potential for growth and understanding. Characters like Dr. Aziz evolve from seeking acceptance and validation from the British to advocating for independence and asserting their own cultural identity. The character development also highlights the complexities and limitations of human connection, shedding light on the deep-rooted prejudices and barriers that hinder true understanding and empathy. Ultimately, the character development reinforces the novel's exploration of cultural clashes, power dynamics, and the quest for genuine human connection in a colonial society. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a beautiful day to all of you. Thank you.